Thank you. Welcome once again to the computer. We're talking about things that have, are controlled by the computer or inputs to the computer. This has to do with a throttle, throttle body, throttle position. Um, yeah, obviously, we, I told you that it's electronically controlled. This one that you're looking at right here. So, this is the relay for it. Uh, remember, I told you there's no cable. There's only there's only now a, a electrical wiring going to it to detect how much you're on the pedal. This has to do with an engine mount. It's controlled also by a, a solenoid, a valve. Um, that's also sometimes it's by a vacuum, an intake, a vacuum. This one over here is accelerator position sensor over here, pedal position position sensor that detects how much the height of it how much you're pressing on the gas pedal so all these things basically are this are i think i mentioned this in another video one time these are the shift control solenoids these are sh controlled by the computer when to shift from one gear to another gear these electronic obviously electronic uh, transmission over here when that happens it allows a hydraulic pressure uh fluid to go to the correct clutches bands to give you the correct gear shift like we said before not too much over here just basics over here so so just giving you a rough idea of what the computer is like i said not important to go for every single follow the traces Okay, now you have also crankshaft sensors over here. CKP are the crankshaft sensors. These are all the pins. Now you have over here camshaft sensor. These are three pins over here. Going back to where? Like we, we've been discussing all along, right back to the computer. Over here, transmission output shaft, the speed sensor on the output of it. And there's also one on the input of it. Going going where? Right to the computer. So everything that we mentioned over here is related to the computer. Again, rock arm oil control solenoid. We spoke about it just before. Monitors the oil pressure. All these things over here. Now, obviously, transmission range switch, which position you are, self-explanatory, see? But point at one thing all you see all this dotted line that means that all these go together at one shot if this goes to reverse that means this one is going to reverse that means this is going to reverse and that one and this one is going to reverse so they're all turn at the same time that's what the dotted line means they gang together that's a transmission range switch so that's that like i said i just want to go over next one Okay, now again, we come to air fuel sensors, the, ratio, the air fuel ratio sensor, same thing, almost like an oxygen sensor, see HO2 on this one, same thing, you have four wires usually from oxygen sensors, two usually for the heating element, and two is the, feed, the feedback to the computer, so the same thing with this, same thing with all these things. See, these are all oxygen sensors, air, air fuel ratio sensors. Honda calls them, I believe Toyota also calls them. The same thing, to know how much oxygen is in the air so we can control the fuel, and we control it by the fuel injectors on and off time. Either more fuel or less fuel. So you'll, you'll find usually four wires, sometimes even five wires with these things. So, Okay, again, what we spoke about, IAT sensor right here, over here. IAT sensor, the temperature of the air coming in. Goes to the computer, one goes to ground, or sometimes it goes to, the computer gives it a ground. The other one goes to, usually, the computer to tell it the temperature of the air. So all these things, basically, in a nutshell, and what I'm trying to say is, they all go and they give information to the computer, all right? Oil pressure temperature of air how much air fuel level fuel pressure uh power steering pressure all these things are communicated to the computer 
to tell them what's going on. Otherwise, the computer has no idea what's going on. Over here, now we come to this. Well, let me find it. Um, engine cooling temperature. This has a lot to do with the fans, the cooling fans, when to turn on the cooling fans. And the temperature gauge to tell you how much the temperature is of the cooling temperature, right? If the engine is hot or cold. So therefore, you'll see this in electrical fans. You, you, you have electrical fans. They turn on. If you put up the hood and you're overheating, you first thing is, besides the radio, uh, the, the fluid level, um, to look at if the fans are going on and off, are going on. Especially at idle. You will overheat at idle. When you're on the highway, you're going fast, so therefore, or not fast, but you're cruising, so air is being drawn into the engine. That's why sometimes cars will have better uh, uh, mileage or better um, performance, let's say, when it's mostly highway mileage because you're always cruising, you're always getting that air to cool off the engine. But if you're doing city driving, stop and go, stop and go, you're idling, that engine is really getting hot unless the fans come on. Okay, so the same thing, input shaft of the transmission to know the speed of it. We had an output shaft speed sensor, same thing. Automatic transmission fluid temperature sensor also. We have to know the temperature of the fluid transmission. We have to know the pressure of it also. EGR is the same thing. So these are sensors, again, going back to the input of the computer. So anyway... Basically, all these things, I didn't want to go from line to line to line. It will be too much time consuming. But, however, again, to point out something, if you have a problem, you think it's a problem with a, a, a temperature sensor of the air, you can put on the scanner, it tells you there's a problem. You look at one line, make sure it goes to ground, make sure the other one is a voltage, right? As it gets hotter, the temperature will, will get hotter and the voltage will get less decrease so only deal with the problem that you have at hand if i believe i have something with the with the cooling fans that i want to make a video about cooling fans are not going on right not for the condenser and not for the radiator those are two fans for the air conditioning and for the radiator both are not on you're overheating you can look at these two ect these sensors are what the computer looks at to turn on the fans Okay, where they're located tells you below throttle body and top rear of, in, of engine. So, whatever you're dealing with, go to these. Forget about all the other symbols and lines. It can have a thousand lines. It can have a thousand components connected to it. And usually it does. It's a computer. It's a computer. But we don't care about that. We just care with the something that has to do with our problem. All right. If you get, let's say, it's, it's the fluid, the, the temperature. Uh, transmission fluid is is, is is hot I will deal with this one with this sensor forget about imp, forget about ECT forget about the other one mass airflow sensor forget about fuel injectors I'm dealing with you and I trace this back that's all I have to worry about okay thanks please go to my channel Joe electronic schematics for auto I hope these were helpful and please go to how to do a load test on the battery. I explained it. Please go over it. Thanks.